A school prayer controversy has one local family accusing school workers of barring a kindergartner from praying. The parents of the five-year-old pulled her from the Obito school and now a religious rights group is standing up for them and threatening legal action. The school district calls the claims bogus. West News' Greg Fox is live in Seminole County now. And Greg, when did this alleged incident take place? Well, according to the family, it happened to their five-year-old daughter uh, at Caroline Elementary School right here in Oviedo uh, back around the week of March 10th, but then there was spring break, and then they hadn't talked to her about it, so they only reported it to the principal of the school last week. On the same day, they released a YouTube video making the claim that she was told she could not pray at lunch. Show me what you did with your hands or whatever else. So you went like that? This YouTube video shows Marcos and Catherine Perez's five-year-old daughter alleging she was told not to pray before eating in the Carillon Elementary School cafeteria. She said, you're not allowed to pray. She said you're not allowed to pray? Yeah. I was shocked because uh, a five-year-old should never be conflicted between prayer and authority. Perez says he and his wife posted the video because he believes his daughter, and they're furious, calling it a violation of their daughter's free speech rights. I think prayer is allowed for all children, and I think it does need to be reinstated, you know, reaffirmed at the school. The Liberty Institute of Texas caught wind of the story and sent a letter to the school board calling the employees' actions a violation of federal law and that private student speech is free speech. Students do not shed their First Amendment rights when they walk through the schoolhouse gate. The district has zero policy against student prayer. A spokesman for the district could not say how long it will take to investigate, but did make it clear that faculty and staff at all schools are aware that private prayer is allowed. There's no policy against us doing a prayer of that nature um, to themselves. As long as they're not creating a school disruption, um, there is no problem in praying at school. The Liberty Institute and the family are giving the school district until April 7th, that's next Monday, to apologize. So far, a spokesman for the school district says there's no information to show that an apology is warranted. Live in Seminole County, Greg Fox, Washington News. Greg, thank you. The Orlando